Well, it started in about 1888 when George Lee took up the first freehold title at Lee's Paddocks. Oh, I think at the turn of the century there were about 350,000 sheep and several thousand cattle that would go traditionally to the high country. Yep. We're just keeping the tradition alive. Well, they like the roughage. They're eating really at the moment, as you would note, the tussocks, particularly the ones that have been burnt off uh, in head or in he ear with, with the corn on them, and they're quite nutritious. When the horses get in there, they're released, and they all run as horses are designed to run in their, in their mob. And um, so the horses are always very pleased to get in there. As you could see them charge around and rearing up and working out who's, which, which friend am I going to have? And they usually end up in their pairs or if you've got three from Geoffrey Wadley's, they're all together and mine's with usually my daughter's horse because they traveled up together. And sometimes the lone horse that belongs in neither party. I can remember as a young child coming up to Lee's paddocks, we'd either walk, bush walk in or bring the ponies. You have to have quite a level-headed horse, a horse that copes quite well with stopping and starting and um, taking their time going through wet areas. And I've got a great little horse at the moment. The fondest memory, well, uh, memory, childhood memory I have is at the age of 10 when we did build the Reg Wadley Memorial Hut. I came up and stayed for a week of that three week period of time and so I spent quite a bit of time exploring the creeks and the river, uh, also assisting where I could with the building of the hut uh, and that was a pretty special time. It's an absolute paradise up here, there's, I don't think there's anywhere else which is as spectacular as this valley up here surrounded by the mountains. You can totally unwind and relax. It sort of brought all the family uh, and different members of the family quite close together. I've seen a fair few places and uh, there's not many places that I know, or if any, that's, uh, that's got such beauty. Joe will be inheriting my the property I have up there. Um, so she's endeavoured a very busy life, but she goes up every January with us with the cattle drive. It's been there as, I guess, an expectation. At the age that my mother is, it feels like, it does feel like she's a bit invincible. She seems to be rocking on. Well, I started as a teenager in 1960, and I guess I was pretty tough to be asked by dad and laws to go in with them. You uh, aspired to being tough and uh, it was a wonderful adventure. The family identify with this heritage and it's actually brought our family very close together. The family institution is something of belonging and of tradition. The historical tradition of bringing cattle up to the highlands I think is really important. Once we lose that tradition, then it's very difficult. You, you will never regain that.